Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at Cubicle Labs Mystic. So this is Cubicle Labs Mystic. Mystic is a plant-based lubricant, and as far as I know, it's the first one on the market. According to the cubicle, it uses aloe to provide a unique blend of speed and smoothness. So these right here are four different cubes that I'm going to be trying out Mystic on to see how it affects them. From left to right, we have the Weilong GTS version 2, Valk 2M, Wuxhuang M 5x5, and the GANS 356X. I picked these four cubes specifically because they vary greatly in terms of speed and feeling. Additionally, I wanted to be able to test this out on small cubes and big cubes alike. So let's start out with the Weilong GTS version 2. So this is what the cube sounds like before adding in the lube. So you can add this lube in directly from these holes in the top, but I'm going to take out a couple of pieces just so that I can control exactly where the lube is going. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually kind of glittery. This way you can also get a good idea of how much lube I'm putting in. So I definitely notice a difference. Uh, as far as it being smooth and fast, I'm feeling more of the fast part on this cube, uh, but that could be because it's a very, very fast cube anyway. As I'm turning this more and more, I'm starting to feel and hear more of a difference. It's mellowing out the sound of the cube and it's making the plastic feel less harsh. So next we have the Valk 2M, and here's what it sounds like before the loop. So as you can see, this cube is already very mellow and soft feeling and sounding, so that's why I want to include this cube in here to see what it can do to a cube that isn't as clacky and loud originally like the Weilong GTS version 2. I've always felt like the Valk 2 was a little bit slow for me, and this lube just totally changed that. It's completely sped up. I'm not so sure that I hear a difference in this one, uh, and the smoothness isn't quite as apparent because, as I said before, this cube is already really smooth, but it definitely improved the speed for me because I wasn't ever really completely satisfied with this speed. And now, I mean, wow, this is... It's lightning fast now. So for the Valk 2, I would say it did a fantastic job of improving the speed, at least in my opinion, because I thought it was slightly slow before, uh, but I didn't notice a huge difference in terms of the feeling and the smoothness, uh, and not so much of a difference in how loud the cube was. But once again, this cube was pretty quiet before, so I'm not sure how much this lube could possibly do. The next cube we have is the Wuxhuang 5x5M. Now, I used this cube for a really long time, and I used to love it, but because I've used it so much, over the years it's become a little bit slow, dried out, and just sort of feels like the cube is dying overall. So I'm going to see if this lube can help revive it.
Okay, so, so far, out of all the cubes I've tested out this lube on, this cube has shown the least amount of change, I think. There's a tiny increase in speed and a little bit of extra smoothness, but I don't really notice any change in the sound, and the feeling that the cube is sort of dying hasn't really gone away. I think that I would need to really clean this cube out if I wanted to fix that, uh, which makes sense because I've used this cube for so long. So it looks like maybe Mystic isn't tailored so much towards the bigger cubes, but let's take a look at our last 3x3. So this is the GAN 356X, and this is one of my main 3x3s. Honestly, I can't think of much of anything that I want to change about this cube. I really like the way it is right now. But despite that, I do want to test out the lube on it because I want to see what Mystic will do to a cube that's already near perfect. So here's what the cube sounds like before the lube's added in. All right, let's do some turns on this. Well, somehow Mystic managed to make the 356X even smoother and quieter than it was before, which I never would have thought possible. It did also increase its speed by quite a bit, which I'm not such a huge fan of, so I might have to add in some other lubes to slow it back down. So overall, it seems like if you add Mystic to a cube, you will certainly speed it up and make it smoother. However, that might not always make your cube better than it was before, so be careful about which cubes you're going to use it with. In my opinion, from testing it out on these four cubes, I think it worked best on the Valk 2M, and so I think that it's probably best to use Mystic on cubes that are a bit slower and heavier that you want to speed up. After doing these four tests, I think that a pretty good way to describe this lube would be to say that it's sort of like a mixture between Silk and DNM37. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say on the new Cubicle Labs Mystic. It was just released, so if you'd like to, you could be one of the first people to get it. If you would like to buy this lube, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!